Hey everybody, Kyle and Brad here, and today we're going to give you guys some tips on how to improve your game on harder sport conditions. Stay tuned. So when attacking a sport condition, the most important thing is developing a game plan. Now, if there's a graph available, that's great. And there's a rule of 31 that we can use when we have a graph. And this rule of 31 means whatever the total footage of the pattern is, we subtract 31 feet from that pattern. And then that gives us an idea of where our breakpoint needs to be. Now, this is gonna be an estimate. This isn't 100% correct by any means. There's a lot of other factors that go into it, but a graph and using the rule of 31 it gives us an idea. But there's sometimes we don't have a graph. So Brad, what do we do if a graph isn't available to us? So if you don't have a lane graph, it's important to know that the practice session becomes extremely important in the fact that you have to use your eyes to be able to develop a game plan. Not only because you're throwing balls, trying to figure out what's going on, but everyone else is around you. And you can use those tools of your competitors to see what their ball's doing in a certain part of the lane and what your ball's doing in a certain part of the lane. And with your eyes, you can piece together a game plan using everyone around you. Okay, so we need to develop a game plan. So here we have a real life scenario. We have a pattern, Brad hasn't bowled on it yet. I haven't disclosed the pattern to him. So he has to go through the motions of a practice session and figure out how to attack this lane. So Brad, how are we going to develop a game plan for this pattern? So the first thing I do is I grab the most controllable ball that I, I have. It's a lot of times it's the go-to ball for you guys. It's the one you love, maybe the one you feel best with. Uh, whatever you trust the most is the first ball I grab off the rack. Okay. And I do that, and so when I, when I have that ball, I'm going to stand as not as far right as I possibly can, but farther right to try and get as close to the friction so I have a better idea of what's going on with the friction, and it also preserves the middle part of the lane. So I'm gonna grab my ball, and I'm gonna stand toward the right part of the approach and I'm gonna try and play right around up five and if it hooks, then there's a couple things we can do. If it doesn't hook, there's also a couple things we can do. So we're gonna get to it. All right, let's see it. All right, no pressure there at all, so. <laughs> I was a little nervous. <laughs> so what are we thinking on that one? So I think I missed a little bit farther left than I originally wanted and it hooked. So what that tells me is I was a little bit too far right and it also tells me that there is friction. Now, if that ball would have, went, have hooked even more and say it went to the Brooklyn side of the head pin, then the first thing I would do is I would probably move my feet left. But there's another option. If your ball hooks too much, there's the option of urethane that's becoming so important in today's game. You're absolutely so, right. So the two options for me, if it hooked more than that, would be to move left uh, and then to throw urethane. If the ball would have, so if I missed a little bit left, if it would have went straight maybe into the 1-3, uh, that would tell me that the pattern is a little bit longer. And from there, I would do a couple things. Let's just say in a certain scenario, that ball went too straight, it washed out. Uh, there's, the first thing I would do is I would move right. I would move my feet right, I would try and parallel into that and get my angles a little bit straighter. The second thing I would do is, is use surface. So I would try my shot playing right. If that didn't seem very good or it went too straight still, I would put surface on my bowling ball to see if I can get that reaction closer to me. And then if neither of those options work, then the other option for longer patterns is paralleling everything in because at that point in time, we have determined that the right part of the lane, like board eight and to the right of it is out of play. Yeah, we wanna keep our ball closer to the head pin in that case. So obviously that one hooked, there's a shorter pattern out there. So what's gonna be the move here? So I'm just gonna move my feet three left okay. and I'm gonna get my break point just a little bit farther to the right and we'll see. We'll okay, see let's see, let's get you a full rack here. And hopefully I make a good shot. <laughs> and then there's always the pressure of making a good shot. So he's moving a little farther left, a couple boards since he saw the friction. And then so 10 back. So after those two shots, I've come to the conclusion that that's a pretty good place to play. Now, 
That was only two shots. You get 15 minutes of practice a lot of times. So if everybody on your pair is playing that one specific part of the lane, there's a good chance that's not available here in about three or four minutes. So that's why using your eyeball, seeing what types of balls people are using, seeing where they're playing, and understand what's going to happen to the oil based on what you see on your pair and the pairs to the, to the right. Right, this game plan that we're trying to develop never stops evolving throughout a block. Never. There's so many variables that go into staying lined up throughout a block, whether it's changing balls, uh, people you're crossing with, and, and the oil is always moving. So we always have to pay attention to what's going on around us in order to stay lined up throughout an entire block. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. And remember, develop a game plan, stay open-minded, and continuously take information around you because that game plan is always going to be changing throughout an entire block. And if you like the video, give it the thumbs up. If you want to know anything about the game of bowling instructional wise, let Kyle and I know in the comments below. We will do our best to get a video to you guys about it as soon as we can. Thanks, guys.